Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Haba, Nick or no Haba, and I'm bringing you a brand new video here today. And in this one, uh, before we get into it, I just would like to announce, I just dropped a brand new loop kit. Uh, I believe it's 20 loops, totally free, has the stems, uh, it's stemmed out at the end of the loop, they're WAV files, that's over at Underground Stars website, link in the description, so go get that. And with that said, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support recently, um, you guys have been killing it, and I really appreciate it, uh, so keep subscribing, liking, commenting, let me know what you guys want to see. Um... Yeah, with all that said though, I've got a loop pulled up from my new loop kit, so we're just gonna jump right into this. All right, so I'm just gonna play the loop for you guys really quick, and I kind of laid it out how I already want it, but uh, here's the loop with all the elements at once. So you guys let me know what you think down below um but yeah so for this video i'm just gonna be adding drums to this loop and uh making a sick beat out of it and if you think my drums suck and you want to do better go down below and go grab the loop kit and send me whatever you make so we're just gonna start this off with a clap now i'm gonna grab a hi-hat I'm gonna turn up the out knob a little bit to make it a little snappier and turn down the volume. I'm gonna add some hi-hat rolls here. Uh, and then one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these and I'm gonna right click on the velocities here. I hope you guys can see this and just move the velocities down. And if you hold your right click while you're doing that, it keeps it all at like a perfect ratio. So I like that for a hi-hat pattern. Also, shout out Danny Rome for the drum kit. I don't know if he still has it out, but uh, there's a free and paid version. Go grab that paid version. It's only $5. Highly recommend it. At Danny Rome Beats on Instagram. I'm gonna do that for a snare pattern. Matter secondary snare. So I think all I need now is an 808, maybe a kick to layer it. So I'm gonna grab those. I'm gonna just grab a spins. pattern here all I'm doing is following my root notes it's as simple as that uh, you don't need anything fancy you don't want to overcomplicate it for the artist so I'm gonna grab this out of it the uh, TNT out of it now I'm gonna grab a rack kick to layer with it I'm just copy and pasting my 808 pattern and then pressing alt K on the piano roll and then I'm gonna eliminate uh, I'm just gonna do the one one, three, five, and seven. And then I think I'm gonna do something else here. So I'm gonna do that, kind of layer it with that snare. Actually, we're just gonna do that on the second half. Yeah, I think that's hard. All right, so I'd say that's it for the drums. Uh, I'm just gonna mix them out really quick. And I'll let you guys kind of see that process. Uh, so I start with my 808 and I just, I don't know. <laughs> level it and then I do my kick and then I bring in my clap I hat so I think that's a good mix and then I just come over to my uh, master preset here and that's just a fruity metric 
Fruity Parametric EQ1 with the uh, lows, mids, and highs boosted just a touch. And then a Fruity Soft Clipper with the uh, default settings. But yeah, I like how that sounds. So uh, I'm just going to lay this out really quick. All right, so that's going to do it for this beat. Um, I got it all laid out here. So it starts just the intro. And my tag comes on. And then we jump into the first state of the hook. And I bring in that bass guitar just for the first state of the hook. Uh, I bring in almost all the drums except the 808. And then we jump into the second eight of the second eight of the hook, and the 808 comes in. And then after that, we jump into the verse. And then after the first eight of the verse comes the second eight, and I eliminate the flute for the first eight, and then bring it back for the second. Um, but yeah, and then that's going to jump off into the bridge. And after that, it's just uh, rinse and repeat a couple times. So you get three hooks, two verses. At least that's what I do. And uh, sometimes it's not always like that. But this time, that's how it's going to be. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Stick around for the long haul. And uh, leave a like. Comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, uh, what I can work on, and what you want to see next. Uh, but... Yeah, this has been your boy Nick, Haba, or Nahaba, and I'm out. Peace.